I've been reading this book by David McIntyre called The Hidden Life of Prayer. In the introduction of the book, he writes this statement. The devil is aware that one hour of close fellowship with God is able to pull down what he has been contriving in building for many a year. What an incredible statement that choosing to get alone with God and commune with Him and experience His sweetness and listen to His voice and lay upon Him will save you from being subjected to things that you would have otherwise have been subjected to. So he's saying that the devil builds a plan basically against you and he's well aware that if you pray and you lay upon the Lord, it will destroy the things he has been trying to build and contrive. Isn't that incredible? So that's why the devil would want to hinder sweet fellowship with God. That's why the devil would want to scatter your mind so that you cannot get still and know the Lord, to disquiet you so that you cannot get quiet before the Lord. He would try to add lots of noise to your life so that you can't get silent before God. He'll try to add many things to your ears so that you can't hear the Lord. He'll try to bog you down with condemnation so that you don't lay upon the Lord. He'll try to theologically block you from experiencing the bliss of the new covenant. He will literally try all kinds of things to block you from direct contact with God because he knows that in direct contact with God, it will ruin what he has been contriving against you. God bless you.